All right, apparently we're recording here. Welcome, everybody. Hope the sound works out for this thing. It's quite the beast. The 1974 Marshall Super Bass. It's been modded to Super Lead specs. Uh, it's quite the beast. I really like it. Uh, many thanks to my good friend Mark Hodges for selling it to me, and uh, I'm eternally grateful. Uh, previously belonged to uh, a hero of mine, Joe Green, and an old friend, and uh, it's quite the animal. Um, this is his guitar. You can see it. I hope I haven't zoomed in too far. My Epiphone uh, Les Paul Ultra. It's one of the first version ultras, not the two with the piezos in. Um, it has Granville pickups in it. Uh, these are sort of wound a hot PAF specs. Um, I added, uh, it had gold hardware on it, which I don't care for on a Sunburst, so I went to all nickel hardware, um, Tone Pro stuff, aluminum tailpiece, um, Grover tuners, and I made a bone nut for it. It's a really, really nice guitar. If you get a chance, you should try one out. I like them because they have the tummy cut in the back, which is, you know, more, it's easier for me to play, being more of a strat guy usually. All right, let's see what this animal sounds like. Hopefully, uh, <laughs> hopefully not too aggressive for that little microphone. She's quite the beast. Um, I've got the channels bridged. I have presence set at, oh, around two-ish. Uh, the bass is uh, a little under two. Mid is at about 12 o'clock. Treble is almost completely off. Uh, volume one is set mm, somewhere at about where one would probably be, I guess. And volume two is set up at about four. And I have the channels bridged. Uh, from the one bottom jack to the two top jack. It's not the only way to do that, but that's the way we have it here. So let's see what we get. <laughs>
pick, picking dynamics are really, really, really nice. I can really get a lot of different textures just by how hard I'm picking. So. amplifier there it is it's uh, it's a real beastie and I, I love it um, by the way I'm running 6550s in it which I know is um, something uh, you know against God to some people <laughs> but uh, I really like them they're they're much bigger and firmer and um, I think they allow a lot more controllability they, they don't they don't kind of enforce themselves on the sound as much as a 34 does. They give you a little more possibilities, if that makes any sense. Um, I just prefer them for whatever reason. <laughs>